In my clock collection, I have normally specialized in English clocks, but this wonderful Gothic clock from Germany joined the collection when I was lucky enough to purchase all Peter Gwynne's collection of clocks. The hour hand is a replacement, but the minute hand is original. It's also unusual in that it is a quarter striking clock and the little bell at the top of the clock is the quarter bell and the large bell below is the hour bell. The timekeeping comes back to the inertial balance where you can see the two little lead weights um, which can be moved in and out from the centre. As they are moved in, the moment of inertia um, decreases so that they will uh, oscillate faster. And you can see even now the unequal swing that is being induced by the impulse from the pallets. And the tick is anything but absolutely uniform that you can hear it increasing and going quicker and then it slows down and the amplitude of the inertial balance slows down as well. Now here we are, it's striking, it's striking the hour, um, it's striking 11 o'clock. And if we turn the clock round, you can actually see the count wheel. And here's the hour striking. And you can see the lever dropping in on the center line of the count wheel. And see the mechanism from the inside, just tripping the count wheel again. And this is the quarter striking. There are no clocks of this age, which uh, I have even seen in, in museums, so that uh, I can understand Peter's wish um, to add it to his collection and the pride that I have in keeping it in my collection.